Hello and welcome to Office, home of broken dreams and harebrained schemes. I'm your best friend Cake and today I'm going to tell you a really scary story. Recently Angelic Pretty released a bat beret, which is to say a beret with bat wings on it. I'm a fan of bats, so I tried my best to get it. Release day baby, time to enter the fray. And it sold out. And I was unsuccessful. So today I'm going to show you how to make your own bat hat, a better bat hat. Just don't go selling them after. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need are hats. You can get them off of Amazon or hat store, doesn't matter, you just need them. I'm going to work on the black one today. What next? Gotta add stuff to them, I guess. To be honest, I'm going in with a really loose plan for this. Ta-da! Now you're crafting, I think. Just kind of zhuzh it up and you're good, right? You're good. Uh, okay, let's do this. Let's separate it into piles. We got ribbons, which I'll deal with later, because the first thing I want to do are the wings. I bought different leather scraps, different colors, different textures. I thought they'd all work pretty well for bat wings. I'm going to start with this nice, smooth raccoon paw black. I don't know how I'm going to start, but I'm going to start. Just gotta figure it out. I guess I'm going to cut the leather into bat wing shapes. But to do that, I need my fabric shears, and I don't know where they are. So I'm gonna call my partner and see if he has seen them. Do you know where my fabric shears are? They have a blue handle, you're never supposed to touch them. Once you have killed your boyfriend and located some inferior scissors, you're gonna to wanna to start cutting the bat wings. Oh, they're terrible. Oh, they're so sticky. Ugh. I guess it would be a good idea to make a pattern first. That way you are not wasting leather. Uh, but first you have to know what a bat wing looks like. I need to look it up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a bat wing. Okay, so you're gonna want to draw the shape that a bat wing is. And you're gonna want to make sure that you've drawn it in an appropriate size. Is this an appropriate size? How big should it be? Okay, you're going to want to make it more bigger if you've made it too small. And if you've made it too big, then I suppose you should scale it down a bit, huh? Alright! Now that the bat wing is an appropriate size, you're going to want to take your crummy scissors and cut out the pattern. Ugh, it's terrible! Here comes the moment of truth. Is it going to work? Yeah, seems to work. Nice job. Now you need to get the pattern onto the material somehow, and I'm going to use chalk. I'm going to pick out the nicest part of the scrap, and I'm going to put the chalk on the wrong side of that. And I'm going to use a really weird method, because it's easier for me. Sort of like a bark rubbing, see? Once you've got one wing done, flip the pattern over and do another one. Ta-da! Now you gotta put all your faith in those garbage scissors. Actually, these are not working so terribly. Just wanna go slow, take it easy, don't mess up. And look at that, you have a bat wing. Nice and flappy, good points, A++. So flappy. Cut out the other wing using the same don't screw it up approach, and you should have, wha-bam, bat wings. They're pretty great as they are, but They'd probably be better on a hat. So now I just need to figure out how to put them on a hat. I mean, I should have thought of this before. Squee! I mean, I knew that I wanted them to be detachable, so I got these bar pins, but I didn't really figure out how I would attach the bar pins to the leather. I don't want to sew because I don't want the thread showing through. I don't think there's a glue that I would trust. And I don't know anything about leather working. If only I hadn't killed my boyfriend because he actually knows quite a lot about it. Alright, you're gonna have to bring your partner back from the dead. I'll post a separate tutorial on that. Basically, he's just gonna tell you what you already know. You can bond leather with glue, but really the best thing to do is apply rivets. And it just so happens he has rivets that are the perfect size to fit through the bar pins. Kind of play around with it a little bit to figure out a placement that you like. Do I like this? I think I do. Do I want one rivet? Or two? 
or three, or two. I want two, unless I want one. No, two will offer the best structural integrity. I'm doing two. Once you've figured out placement, you will want to pencil on the spot you're gonna punch. Hopefully the placement will be relatively even. Is this even? It's even enough. And then you're gonna wanna learn how to punch leather. Apparently all that means is smashing it with a hammer. So smash it good and you'll make holes in it. Speaking of smashing, why don't you smash that subscribe button? And then you can learn how to smash rivets. Uh, is this it? So you take the thing and then you put your stuff on top of it and then you take the other thing and you smash that with the mallet. Being careful not to smash your bar pin. All right, you've got one rivet through. It is pretty snug, but I still think you should use two. And look at that, you've got a bat wing. Super flappy, good size, correct shape. Did I mention it was flappy? Do the same thing to the other wing and you will be left with two beautiful, flappy bat wings. Better hide your mangoes. I am gonna make some brown wings as well, just to have on hand because I am super jazzed on these. Like I was saying before, you could do this with any color leather that you want, or really any material that you want. You could also make any shape that you want. You could do like a nightmare mini wing. Ugh, but make it look better than that. That looks like a duck foot. What does a wing look like? I don't wanna go through this again. As I was saying, you could do a nightmare mini wing. You could do a kinda ram's horn. Is this what a ram's horn looks like? It looks like a freaky kind of snail. Ugh, now it looks kind of like a nasty tapeworm. Ugh. Do as I say, you guys, not as I do. Make something that appeals to you and something that you can draw. Now that our hat has wings, it needs a bow. To make a bow, you will need some ribbon, and I've got a lot of it. But it is all ever so slightly different. Some of it is a little thinner or a little thicker or a little redder or a little browner. Essentially, you can make a bow out of every color and dimension ribbon that you own. When sewn onto a bar pin, they become detachable. And that means unlimited accessorizing potential. You wanna keep in mind the proportions of the rest of the hat while you're making your bow, especially if you're gonna have something as obnoxious as bat wings on the front. Is this it? Is this the size I'm going for? Maybe a little longer? Let's just go for this. I'm sure there are much more efficient methods to tie bows, but this nasty, sloppy, dirty method is the one I'm most comfortable with. You just kinda tweak it forever or until it looks like a bow that you like. And once it finally is a bow that you like, you sew it onto the bar pin. While you are sewing, take care not to get cocky and prick yourself. I know that you're really excited to finish this project, but I just don't think it's worth it. Girl, what did I just say? It's fine, learn from that pain. Use that pain to do better. Now that your bow is attached to the bar pin, you're gonna need to figure out how to finish the ends. If you had your fabric shears, this would not be so difficult. Maybe next time you start a project, you'll plan it beforehand. Fold the ribbon like a hot dog and do a nice clean cut. Kinda diagonally to the middle, you'll get this nice forked effect. Then do the same on the other tail and hopefully they will be evenish. Ta-da! Look what you did. Beautiful dewy bow, spooky tough wings, entirely attainable. This is a bat hat for the people. And now, the outro. Where is this harsh light coming? Oh, there. I want fruit. Your move, Angelic Pretty. Scree! So I've got the black wings on the black beret with the brown bow. And sorry, Glitter Pony, my eyelashes melted off as soon as I pricked my finger. Apparently, my body's emergency response mechanism is sweating. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you will try your hand at making something. If you do, let me know about it below, or you can post it somewhere and tag me. My handle is at Kate Calamity, wherever ats can be found. More wings. More wings! 
Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you again after not too long. Bye!